What is up guys, Evil Duos Arm here today, and today I have for you a video where we're going to be looking at a quick fix for Blade and Soul uh, on a Windows 10 machine that will hopefully help you with some crashing in raids or dungeons or wherever you're experiencing a lot of crashing. Um, this fix is only going to work for a couple more days here. Um, basically, this is going off of the most recent Windows 10 update, and we'll get into it in a second. But I'll just show you screenshots of what I've been seeing. So if you've been getting similar actions, you can go ahead and check them out. So I took some screenshots here uh, while I was playing through, and as you can see, I get Blaine's Soul is not responding, and you get to close the program or wait for the program to respond. If you wait for the program to respond, you don't. Uh, it doesn't respond until you die. Basically, your game is stuck at this. Additionally, you'll notice that you'll be stuck at around 30 FPS. I don't know if you can quite make it out in that image. Um, on the screenshot, if we zoom up to it up here, you'll see that I'm, I was sitting at about 20 FPS when I crashed. Normally, I'm getting like 100 FPS in this sucker, so I, I knew something was up. So I thought it might have been the graphics card or something like that. So I went and played in the NVIDIA settings, tried a whole bunch of different things. That didn't work. As you can see, I kept getting crashing issues. Uh, if we go ahead and continue to scroll through these images. So yeah, you can see the same thing happens again. I got a couple of attacks off before, once again, the game went ahead and crashed, and I got the same error message. Once again, I tried facing the other way, turning everything off, trying to get rid of all the HUD, trying to get rid of all the crud on the screen and once again still crashed, uh, same error message. Um, so yeah, I, I started thinking, started looking around on the internet, asked some people in Discord, and it comes out that the most recent Windows 10 update, um, major build update that is, went ahead and added something that disables an FTA or an enables an FTH feature, which basically causes 3D features and applications to crash or cap their frame rate. So what's happening is the game was getting capped and, and crashing and, and it was never being able to run successfully. So there are two ways to go ahead and fix this issue if you have the same problem that I am having right here. Your first one and the easiest one and what I did to go ahead and do is to recover your PC. Um, but anyway, if you go ahead and head over to your settings menu, Actually, you can just do it from your Windows 10 search bar down in the bottom, although my webcam is probably covering that for you, so I do apologize. But if you go ahead and type in Windows Update and go to Windows Update Settings, it'll take you to the same exact menu that you see right here. When you get here, you're going to see View Installed Update History. If you go ahead and click on that, it's going to give you two options, Uninstall Updates or Recovery Options. If you go ahead and click on Uninstall Updates, it'll show you your most recent updates that, are, uh, that were installed. So I went ahead and uninstalled the updates that were right here first. That didn't work. So... The next option, if that doesn't work for you, is to go ahead and hit Recovery Options. If you go to Recovery Options, you're going to see this menu, but instead of Advanced Startup, you're going to see what you see on the screenshot here. Go back to the previous version of Windows 10. This is only going to be available, that option that you see right there, go back to the previous version, is only going to be available or there for a few days after you initially make the update. So if you are having this problem, you need to make sure that you get on this as soon as possible. Uh, that's why I'm trying to get this video out as soon as I figured it out. I literally figured it out about an hour ago how to make this fix. So if you've got that, you got that, and you're all set and good to go, um, you're going to have to go ahead and click that, go back to the previous version of Windows 10. Click it, get started, it's going to roll back the thing, and then as soon as I did that, my game started running beautifully again, 100 FPS, fantastic, all was right with the Cosmos. Now, if you don't have this, or if this option isn't available, or it's been too long before uh, your computer basically automatically deleted your... Um, save file of Windows 10 that it keeps to back up for this situation, you're going to have to go ahead and use the reset this PC option, or if you want to try your hand at registry editing, you can go ahead and do that as well. It is FTH, you need to go and disable it. You can go ahead and look around on Google. I'll post a link to an article that goes ahead and walks through it, but I am not going to go through it because I don't want to deal with editing registry. That is something that I simply do not mess with uh, personally. So uh, your other option, if you want to be like me and don't like to uh, mess with stuff like that, is hit the reset this uh, PC option. What you can do is you can go ahead and reinstall uh, Windows, and then it will um, take you back to a previous version, and you can update through until the most recent version that worked for your computer. Um, this is a lot longer of a process, and you, once again, you can also choose to keep all of your files and everything, so you won't lose uh, too much information going around this route up as well, but really the preferred option is just go back to the previous version of Windows 10 option. So yeah, guys, that's what it did. That's what I had to do to fix it. No more crashing, no more issues like that for me. So I hope this video helps some of you. I know it only applies to Windows 10. I know it doesn't apply to everyone, and I know it might not work for everyone, but I figured I would get this video out and help as many people as I could. Um, once again, I'll put a link to the registry edit it so you can go ahead and look through and see what you need to edit for that. I found a really good article on it as well, so you can go ahead and read through that and figure it all out. And anyway, guys, thanks for watching as always. I will see you in the next video. Peace.